um, one of the things that we see here is um, I'm going to log in in a high privileged, not not a super high privileged, but something that has access to back office. So when you think about certain functions, um, one of the things that I have seen, and I've done about 250 security reviews with different customers, is when somebody gains access to PeopleSoft, they're going to attempt to do a couple of different things. One, they're going to try to steal your identity. Two, they're going to attempt to steal your paycheck. Three, they're going to attempt, attempt to pivot into a high-privileged account. And four, they're going to try to gain access to queries so they can exfiltrate lots of data out of your PeopleSoft system. Um, so at that point, um, what we did here is just from an example, is if somebody does attempt to access the query tool, because that is where you have access to enterprise-level data, you can see everybody in the company that you've been given access to, but you can also take that data out. Um, so if I attempt to go into the query manager, um, you can see that I can do very contextual based multi-factor of I am accessing a specific part of the application. Now I want to go ahead and make that user do a multi-factor challenge because it's important for them to prove who they are for them to be able to access this function because it is so um, sensitive inside of the organization. This is an HCM system, so I would have access to all of the payroll information, benefits, um, you know, dependents, all of that. I don't want that data to leave. I don't want people to work with that data unless they've actually proven and gone through that stepped up authentication that they are who they are. Um, so it's really streamlined, efficient. You can see that it's integrated into the application. 